Welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about lace command in Linux. So first of all, let's try to understand uh, what is lace command and in what scenario we should uh, use this uh, command, right? So lace command is a Linux utility which can be used to read contents of a text file uh, page by page, right? Uh, it has a faster access because if file is large, it does not access complete file but uh, uh, access it page by page something like that for example uh, if uh, we have a large file when I, just, when I say large text file and you are reading it using any text editor then the complete file will be loaded to your main memory right but the uh, lace command uh, does not load entire file but uh, load it part by part which makes it uh, more faster right so let's try to understand through an example. So here I'm going to press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. And here just I have opened the terminal. Let me move to my desktop. So right now I'm in my home directory. So I'm writing CD and desktop and I move into desktop. Here I have a file is called tutorials.txt, right? Uh, having a lot of content. So here I can see content of this file using cat command, right? As we have seen in the past video tutorial. And this will load entire file into the memory. If a file is really uh, too huge, then it will load entire file into the memory. And that we don't want, right? If we want the faster access, if uh, this uh, this file contains like uh, 1000 pages, uh, even this file, uh, what you see over here, this contains uh, does not, this contains does not contain much content. But if you have a file with huge content, then uh, basically we should go for the lace command so now what i'm going to do let me clear the terminal now i'm going to show you how we can use a uh, uh, basically uh, to read a uh, text file with a lot of contents uh, using lace command so here command is very simple you have to write lace and then file name right and if i press enter then uh, here you can see content is open but if you can you could see the scroll bar so earlier i had displayed this Contained using cat command, the entire file was loaded into memory. But if you look in the scroll bars, this is showing only one page, right? Uh, let's say if you want to move down, then you have a down arrow. You can press the down down arrow and you can move uh, downwards. If you want to go up, then simply you can uh, press uh, up arrow, something like that, right? If you want to move move page by page, then you have a page down, right? So you can press the page down and you can move page by page. If you want to go up uh, by page by page, then you have a page down. So you can uh, press page down, something like that, right? So this is the basic functionality. Uh, let's say if you want to search something this in this file, let's say file size, if you are checking log file, right? Uh, with a lot of content and if you are interested to search uh, some content, then uh, here you can see on bottom it is showing colon. So just you have to uh, basically uh, type forward slash and af after that you have to type that word uh, which you want in the pattern search searching right so here let's say I would like to searching for the binary binary keyword and if I press enter then you, are, you, see, you can see all the words with binary is highlighted so there may be a lot of occurrence so currently it is pointing to the first occurrence if you want the next occurrence then simply you have to press n and you can see uh, so you keep pressing the end and once you reach end of the file so this would be the last occurrence of binary then it is showing pattern not found right uh, that means you already reached to the end of the uh, basically file now let's say if you want to so this searching was from top to bottom let's say if you want to search from bottom to search then simply you have to press you have to type question mark then all that word you want to search so here I'm going to search BFS, BFS, and if I press enter, then here you can see this is first occurrence from the bottom, BFS. And if you want to see the next content means from bottom to top, then again you have to press, you need to keep pressing N keyword, right, N, and you'll see the, basically, all the occurrences of BFS, right, and once you reach to the, uh, basically, last occurrence, uh, then it is showing pattern not found right so uh, these are the some basically basic stuffs apart from that let's say if you want to move to the end of the file then simply you can press and keyword and you will reach to the end of the file if you want to go to the beginning of the file 
then simply you can press home keyboard of your uh, keyboard right apart from that if you want to exit from your file from your less command then simply you need to press q to quit right and i came out from the less uh, terminal right now a uh, less command also you can use uh, you can concatenate with uh, some other commands like cat so here i am going to write cat and uh, i will give the file name yeah so that is the tutorials.com so i have written cat and then file name and after that i am going to write uh, uh, this uh, pipeline and here i am going to write less and let's say i am writing a uh, minus p minus p nothing but pattern match and i'm putting a space and here in double quotes i'm writing binary right so what doing by this command this command basically i'm opening this file right which is at desktop right now and we are at desktop now less command instructing i would like to search this binary within this file right using list so if i press enter then you see all the keyword with binary uh, you can see highlighted if you want to see the next occurrence then print leave. just keep pressing pressing the n you will see the rest of the occurrence right so most of the things i have covered but still you'd like to see uh, what are the basically flags uh, are available uh, and what are the options are available uh, within the uh, list command then you can uh, type man it's a manual and you, you can type list and press enter then this will give you the entire uh, explanation so here if you uh, scroll down then you can see this permits a lot of flags that you can use smartly uh, to work with less commands right so rest of the things i hope you can explore yourself so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial